Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad and we are in the beautiful Lake District in the northwest of England. Today in this video spotlight we're going to be looking at this fantastic place. This is called Rose Abbey and it's by Michael Logue. Just doing a quick fly by the outside to try and not give too much away. There we go. You can see it's almost a castle-like structure. It's very nice. There we go. Rose Abbey Library. Okay. So it's early in the morning because so I'd like to go around the outside in daylight because uh, it looks like it's got some nice gardens. And then I'll set it to a later time when we enter any indoor or main, what looks like it could be the main area, sort of castle looking section. So here's my loadout. I've got the steel club, a level four with the burning shaft mod. I've gone for the steel spear again, which has also got a one mod. It's just the ergonomic grip. Then the trusty level three bow. And I'm not going to go for um, a gun of any sort at this point. I might regret that and I might change my mind, but we'll see. And then I've just got a few medical things to help me on my way. There we go. Because I do keep forgetting to do that. And let's have a look at Rose Abbey. It's difficult to know which way to start. Let's just walk up this. It's enticing us in. This is a nice touch. Some of them burning and some of them are out. And that looks great. So the terrain's been manipulated as well to, to give that effect. That's a, a really nice touch. Okay, let's have a look at some of these buildings around the outside before we go any further in. Uh, just to check, I'm on uh, game stage 43, uh, level 23. And a day is set to day 15, just in case that makes a difference with uh, any of the zombies that we get. Uh, we've got someone knows I'm here and uh, we can't get in that way. There's a hole in the wall around there So we can probably go go that way and we'll have a sneaky peek in there Okay, let's go around And I didn't load my bow Gone for iron arrows And a miss There we go I quite like that. There's a bit of uh, boulder there where maybe it's fallen off the wall and the bodies have just been <laughs> thrown in the corner. And perhaps they tried to board this section over to, to cover it up, or maybe it just fell apart and when the wall was destroyed. Gotta duck a little bit to get in, that's a nice touch. And already we've got a load of poppin' pills. Um, so nice to get us started and a big medical pile. Let's just see if there's anyone, here there is. Ah, oh, and I woke them up. I uh, should have snuck in. Uh, yeah, so some good stuff already. We've got um, the medical pile there, the pop and pills, and some more bodies and some more medical things here. So this could be a good place to come back to if there's uh, an issue on the way around the, the POI uh, to get replenished with some, uh, some medical supplies. And I like that you have to duck to get in and out of there. That's really clever. That's little Timmy. Let's get rid of him. So, oh, my apologies. If you're watching this and you haven't seen any of my series, I... I Give all these zombies pe Oh, that's a nice touch as well. Look at that. They're up in the tree. Very good. Oh, dear. That is... That's a very clever thing to do. Uh, yeah, so I, I've given them all pet names because when I started playing the game, I wasn't looking at anything online. I love doing blind plays, you see, so... Um, I didn't know that some of them already had names. Now, I know Timmy is actually Steve, um, so my apologies if you're, if I'm... Freaking you out, calling them different names. Uh, a little higher. Ah! Where'd you come from? And that's, uh, that's Milfy. <laughs> I don't know if she's got a real name. Uh, did I miss him? I must have done it. Oh, I'm a bit low with that. That's a good one. So as with the other videos, I'm not really interested in what's in the loot because I don't particularly want to get anything, but um, I just want to see how much loot there is around because I'm going to start doing a, a sort of a scoring system. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Um, where the POIs that I look at, and that's obviously going to be my opinion. It's not, um, you know, you might think differently about it. 
Uh, but I'm going to be scoring on things like how much loot is available. Is it too much? Is it too little? And how many zombies there are? Are there too many or too few? Let's move on. I'm not going to spend too long looking for every single thing because it's nice if you can find a few things yourself. That's a good little touch there as well. So that'll be another way in or out for somebody outside. And we've got um, a lookout tower. We'll come back to that. We'll have a look in the... Is this a crypt? We'll have a look in here first. Yeah, because I want to leave some surprises for you. And we've we'll triggered those straight away. I must have heard the door opening. You know, waiting to come out. Let's get up north. So he goes in a straight line. Here we go. Not going to get a headshot here, but we'll get the three and a half bonus out of him, though. Uh, let's go for a little bit of the spear. Was that enough? That was enough for him. I didn't see you there. How are you this morning? I should probably not be walking backwards to where I haven't been yet. That's candy. <laughs> Might get a collision issue. Oh, no. So I'd expect quite a few zombies, and there's a comfortable amount so far. It's keeping me busy. Nice one for the choir. And there was someone there. Let's sort you out. We got a whoops, we got a couple of crates down there. And I think that is a it is. Well, I might come back to that or maybe we'll leave that. <laughs> that's nice. I've never seen that statue in this. That's that's very good. Okay, we'll have a quick look upstairs and then we'll move on. Ah, so we've just got a level where they dropped down from. But we've got a little weapons bag and there's another goodie bag over there and there's a ladder that side as well. Okay, let's go on to the next section. Ah, there we go. Darn buzzards. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Could we use the bandage? Is he stuck, do you think? Let's see if we can get him in the face. Yeah, I think he's jammed in there. He's maybe just spawned a little bit too close to the wall. <laughs> That's quite good, though. It's like a monkey. We've got a big new munitions box up there. That's pretty good as well. Okay, let's have a quick look outside. And then we'll move on. <laughs> a chance that? Yeah. Uh, that might be a trap one. But there's a weapons bag. Yeah, pretty good. And another entrance you've got to duck through. I do like that. It's good. Okay, we'll get out of here and move on. And we've got a few more here as well. Yeah, there's quite a lot, but it's enough to keep you entertained. In the crotch. Oh dear, what have you got there in, your, in the front of your trousers? <laughs> You're done. Okay. And we've got the wrestler. I don't know what he's supposed to be. He looks a bit like a wrestler to me. Oh, that was a big jump. <laughs> yeah, he really got a surprise there, didn't he? Ah, I just missed that. Whoa! Wow, what the heck was that? That was a nice surprise. I didn't even see what it was. Well, that's a bit tricky. I have to keep an eye out for... Uh, yeah, for that sort of thing. Oh, right. Accommodation for, uh, maybe for the staff? 
This is nice. A nice use of the trees as well, keeping it uh, populated. And it's not just bare ground everywhere. And there's Martha. Oh. Oh, sorry about that, Milfi. Are you okay? Oh, dear. And that was the cloister, and it seems to be some sort of accommodation. And it looks really good. And you know what? I really like this bit of ground going up, building up to this, to give the impression that it's on a hill. I really like that. So the latrine, obviously, we've got the toilets. Who's going to be... Oh, but, oh there's someone... Is that someone down in the to... Oh, nasty. But it is candy. So, you know, you could sort of expect that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Candy. You're doing a great job down there, though, pet. <laughs> and we'll see what we've got. I'm tempted to put my bedroll down here. As I think this could get messy. That is pretty big. Um, and I'm sort of regretting not giving myself a live ammo weapon. Games for kicks. Oh, Capo, Skippy. Salient's den. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's the mausoleum, though. You can't say that they're all dead. <laughs> um, I think I might leave that for you to look at. Because I think I've got plenty to look at here myself. So, this is nice. A little... Oh, clever. This is a, obviously a little tribute to other YouTubers and uh, designers, map makers, or... Um, That's a great touch. I tell you what, I am so impressed. There's so many little things like that. They're obviously slipping volumes or whatever you call them, and then when they wake up, they stand up so they appear out of the ground. That's really clever. Well done, Michael. He's going to go. Don't run at me when you blow up. Oh. Nice. Oh, he took the tree out. <laughs> yeah, to get my arrows? Yeah, I did. And the pieces of gib flying in the air. <laughs> oh, it's a really bouncy piece. Look at that. We. Really? What was that? Was that his head? <laughs> well, call me insane, but I've set it to night time. I'm sticking with these weapons. If it is just too much, and then I'll I'll pull out uh, one of the automatic weapons and I put a little bit of armor on because I was running around naked. I forgot to dress myself. Get Bertha. Oh, good, yeah. Uh, is that Ronald? That's a distant shot. That. Let's have a go. Yes. So it's sort of schoolroom. Look at this. We've got the writing desks there. It's somewhere for the pencils and whatever it may, may be, the quills, and a little candle so they can work in the dark. And the chance to um, pick up some skills from some books maybe as well. And a very nice looking room. And all the better for being in the dark as well. Okay, a little hidden area behind the curtain. And a bit of a library going on. That's good. We've got a wall safe. More books to search. And let's see what we've got. A secret passageway. So the adult book section. <laughs> yeah, and that's clever. So when you open the door, it's actually hiding the next door. And that's unlocked. More books. Let's have a look in here. Then. Where is this tape? Oh! Hmm. Where to start? And we'll go. Ah, oh, I've got to move, move, move. He's going to blow up. Get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> Ow. I was crouching, jumping. <laughs> Oh, boy, he made a mess there, didn't he? Don't run at me and blow up. Oh, there you go. Wow. Wow, yeah. It's almost like the the Escher painting with the stairs going all over the place. 
So we've got to follow this around. Um, I wonder if we should have come in from the bottom and worked our way up rather than starting halfway. I sort of feel like this might have been a side passage. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back down because I like to do it from the bottom. Well, I've had a look around the outside and I can't see another way. Well, <laughs> there are some other hidden ways in, but there's not a main entrance that I can see. So let's just start from here and see where we go. It's a maze of steps and options of places to go, all sorts of things to explore. And we've got some broken steps, so maybe you can only go certain ways. So it's a dead end that way. Let's go this way. I think I did I come down there. Let's go up across here. Ah! A lovely big payoff there as well. Some shotgun messiahs, some uh, large ammo pile, and more shotgun messiah, gun store boxes. Nice big payoff. Uh, well, I think for fun, let's see if there's a, a decent weapon we can use in here. A shotgun? Yeah, let's have a play with a shotgun for a bit. So we need some shells. Let's get it loaded up ready. I'll stick to the other weapons, but if needs be, I'll pull this up. Ah, and there was a ladder up there. See, there's a lot of these little things, little sections, little sneaky entrances. If you know where they are, uh, you'll be able to take shortcuts. Okay, let's keep going back in here. Yeah, right down to the bottom here. Did I get it? Oh god, I get it at the last minute. It took a few swings. And another snake and another dog. Wow, this is pretty serious down here. Let's get rid of that snake. Uh, if we can see the dog's head. Is that the one I killed? Yeah. There it is. Oh, good. Get our arrow back. Oh, and there was a, a land and another dog. Oh, God. So there was, there was actually a landmine of the dog. The dog helped me out there. Triggered that landmine. Loads of stuff. Another good place to top up on the pills if you're doing uh, badly. If you're getting whooped, you can get yourself some more medical help by the looks of things here. Just in case you've noticed, the, the clock has changed time. I'm changing it back to night time just to keep it in the dark so we can enjoy the, the lighting in here. All right, let's go back up and let's see if we can make it up to the top. I like that you've got to go down to go up as well. It's um, it's like a proper maze, you know. You got to really have a good look around to try and find the right way. Uh, we've gone round in a loop. Oh wow, it's got me beat. And I'm back to the beginning. I thought I was making some really good progress there, and. I've gone down too many times. Okay, it looks like we are at the top. Uh, what have we got there? Is that a cop trying to get through? This was tough. What a puzzle. I don't know if this is... Is he going to throw up or blow up? I'm worried about it. If they blow up, they might uh, take out the steps. Oh, God, that noise. <laughs> it's pretty nasty, really, isn't it? Oh, hell, he's in. Don't let me lose my way. Oh, this isn't good. I'm jumping over. He's going to blow. He's going to blow. Don't blow out the staircase. Ah, he's right there. Oh, the staircase. No. 
All right. Well, there were three cops in here. I mean, we've got a wall safe. Got a nice big safe. Oh, there's safes all over the place. H5. I wonder what that means. A lot of safes up here. That's a bit of fun as well. So you can do a bit of safe cracking when you get up here. This might... Oh, I think we can get on the roof. Let's see if we can get on the roof. And then we'll leave it there. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, and we got one of those lizard things. Oh, God. I mean, see, oh, it's running. It's feral. And I've got no stamina. I'm boxed in the room. Get me out of here. I'm going to die. Don't make me go through all of that again. Oh, please. Run, run, run. I'm dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now I'm never going to remember how to get back up there. <laughs> All right, well, I've got to try and get all the way back up there, but I'm not going to do it on camera because uh, it is quite a long way and it's really good fun trying to find your way around this one. What I will do, though, is I'll quickly go into fly mode and we'll just have another quick fly around and have a look. There is obviously something on the roof, um, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. I think you'll enjoy trying to work out how to get up there yourself. I'm doing a scoring system now. I'm sorry the first two POIs that I looked at uh, missed out on that, but uh, the scoring system is going to be based on five things, and that's firstly originality, attention to detail, the challenge and threat balance, the fun factor, and the payoff. So for Rose Abbey, I'm going to give it a four out of five for originality. It is similar to other POIs that I've seen, but it is still very original, so it gets a nice high four, not quite a five. Attention to detail. I love things like the uh, school classroom with the uh, box to put their stuff in and the candle there so they can see when they're working. The boards over where the holes were in the walls where they tried to repair it and the rocks lying around outside as if they're the, the rubble left behind. That sort of thing gives it a five for me. Then the challenge and threat level. So the challenge is the difficulty to get through it. Is it too hard? Is it too easy? Because this is obviously a big POI, so it's relative to the size of the POI. I think there was enough of a challenge there. It wasn't too easy. The amount of zombies was just about right as well. There wasn't just a room full of thousands of zombies just to make it ridiculous. But I think the puzzle inside of the sort of the castle section was a little bit too difficult. I'd bring that down from a five to a four, but it's still it's a high four because it, it is very good. Fun factor, I had a great time playing it. So there's no question about that. It is good fun to play through. So that gets a straight five. And then the payoff all the way through the playthrough. I found little loot boxes and conveniently there were things like a big pill section where you could regain a bit of health if you were suffering. Offering. that's a really good idea something i've not seen before um so i'm going to say and the end loot which i haven't shown you which is on the roof is quite substantial but there were also plenty of other payoffs on the way through and that, there was a lot but maybe not too much because it is a pretty tough poi so i'm going to give the payoff a five for that one so in total the average is out at a 4.6 which would be a 92 percent so 4.6 it's a good high rating and that's just my opinion you might see it differently i haven't shown you everything on this map there are some other hidden areas and there are more things to explore and I highly recommend you, you download it. So this was Rose Abbey and it was by Michael Logue. Please like before you leave and subscribe if you want to find more. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.